Hello, everyone, and good afternoon. Uh, my, name's, my name is Bob Henderson, and we'll get into some introdu introductions here just in a moment. But uh, I just wanted to start things off by welcoming everyone to our virtual Goose Bay event. Uh, this is my first time doing this, something like this, so it's kind of exciting. Um, we want to thank you for taking the time to join us and the interest that you have uh, in our Goose Bay operation. As you can see here on the on this slide, you see some pictures of you know the airport in Goose Bay on the left, and and uh, some of the the aircraft that we have up in uh, up in Goose Bay. Um, as you can tell, we're very excited to be in Goose Bay and to be able to take flight training up into the people in Labrador. And uh, as we uh, we can move to the next slide, but the intent here is not to be overly formal. We want to have this more or less a fireside chat kind of an idea as we uh, go through the opportunities and, and some questions probably at the end. So the hosts here, um, I'm as I said earlier, I'm Bob Henderson. I'm on, on the left-hand side of the screen. I'm the chief flight instructor here at MFC Training and uh, been here for a little over 25 years. It's been uh, it's a very exciting job, being able to work with people every day and help them achieve their dreams. So uh, I'm flying, and uh, in the middle, Hassan Aziz. Hassan is uh, he's the uh, guy in charge of the operation up in Goose Bay. He's the uh, assistant chief flight instructor, which uh, takes care of that base. And on the right hand side is Carrie Taylor. Carrie's our admissions officer. So any any activity as, as you're enrolling, and whatnot, you would definitely be interacting with Carrie. So, and you're going to be hearing from them as we uh, go through the, the uh, slides here. So uh, let's go to the next slide. So just give everybody a little bit of uh, our story, a little bit about MFC training. If you do a little digging around, you'll see that MFC training dates back to uh, 1929. Uh, there was an air show where they called it an air pageant back then. And that's where our roots can be traced back to is when the Moncton Flying Club uh, was initiated. The name has changed a little bit over the years and, and now it's MFC Training. Um, and, and MFC has evolved and grown over the years. And uh, we're, we're excited and proud to be able to say that MFC is, is the largest flight school in Canada. It's kind of a, a bit of a secret. A lot of people don't realize that, um, but we, we have the capacity to uh, and have about 450 students a year on average. Um, we're one of the few schools in Canada that are approved by Transport Canada to the integrated standard, which is something that um, there's only about uh, around eight or nine schools in Canada that have that status. So that's, that's something that's pretty neat. And um, I already mentioned the rebranding. So in the last, uh, just about six months ago, we came up with this new branding that you see in the middle of the slide. And um, a couple of little things I'll mention. What we have it here is, is we have three bases where we operate. There's Moncton, uh, there's Fredericton, and now, as you know, we're in Goose Bay. So it's pretty exciting. And uh, a lot of students have passed through the school over the, uh, the 90 plus years so now it's 22,000 and counting, and there's probably over 80 countries that are represented. So, all right, let's look to the next slide. I think, Hassan, we'll let you take this one. Thanks, Bob. So again, welcome uh, to everybody who is joining on. This is uh, pretty exciting to see the people interested in wanting to know more. Um, so as Bob mentioned, my name is uh, Hassan. I'm, uh, I'm the assistant uh, CFI for Goose Bay. Um, I, I've worked in MFC training for about eight years now. I've been in Fredericton base, uh, but we've gone up there obviously uh, this summer to open up the, uh, the Goose Bay base in, in Labrador. Um, so my role up there is, is uh, as the, uh, the manager of that operation. Um, I'm also a pilot examiner and uh, will also be helping with, as an instructor from flights and ground school and things like that. Along with me, my team, uh, that we have uh, two very experienced instructors up there with me. Uh, one is also uh, currently working for airlines, but he also instructs with us. And another one who is uh, tons and tons of hours. So we have a lot of good experience with our team up there for, for students coming in. 
Uh, we also have two aircrafts, as you can see on the uh, on the pictures there, the two single engine DA-20 uh, Diamond Eclipse aircrafts that we, we will operate. Um, there's a few programs that we're going to be offering right now in the summer uh, for Goose Bay, which is the private pilot license, uh, the rec, uh, recreational pilot license, night rating, and discovery flights. So um, a little bit about discovery flights is just 30 minute flights up with an instructor, let you kind of feel the airplane and see the local area. So those are the, the options that we have available right now. Um, we've been, we've started in Goose Bay in, since mid-May um, and uh, we've had some really good interest. We've had a lot of students right now. We have, you know, 13, 14 students actively flying, which is great. Um, but yeah, so it's been, it's been good to work in Goose Bay. And we also currently we're at the, um, the airport at the Air Borealis hangar. So we have a very good connection uh, with Air Borealis and uh, working within their hangars, seeing their pilots and their twin otters flying to the, a lot of different local communities nearby. So it's been a really good experience for our students as well as uh, our team. So that's a little bit about, uh, about Goose Bay. Hi guys, I'm Kerry Taylor. I work uh, with Bob out of the Moncton base. I've been doing admissions and student admissions and recruitment here for probably about a dozen years or so. Um, and so, yeah, I travel all over the place aside from COVID, um, talk to talk to everyone about careers and aviation and different things like that. So um, our main things that we can offer in Moncton, uh, basically, Everything we can do in Goose Bay, obviously, but uh, we've got our commercial programs in Moncton. So, you know, everything from modular training, which is self-paced self-study, to the full-time programs. Uh, we've got a number of options with the integrated programs that Bob mentioned. Um, you know, we've got a one-year one-year integrated com commercial pilot course. Uh, we've got a two-year college diploma. We also have a couple of degrees with Mount Allison University, uh, the Bachelor of Science that we've had for a number of years, and then now we've got the new uh, uh, Bachelor in Commerce that started last uh, September in 2020. Um, yeah, so basically what this kind of means for you guys is if you're, you're looking to continue on, uh, of course, you need a commercial license to, to work as a pilot. So the private is, is the starting point and the recreational side of things. Um, you know, you, you need that commercial license. So you can come and you can continue either in, in any of the programs from what you're doing in Goose, Goose Bay to continue on. I think the next slide we're ready for. So this talks about career progression, okay? So, uh, you know, we really, the way it's kind of set up now that we're uh, MSC training is an EIC company or Exchange Income Corporation. Uh, you can see all the, the logos at the bottom. That That's a number of uh, regional carriers that are also with uh, Exchange Income Corporation. The, there's more, these, these are just kind of, kind of a sample of them. Um, and basically you can start out with MSC with, with no aviation experience, go right to your commercial license. You can start out with us as an instructor, start building hours that way that you need to move on. And from there, you can move to one of the EIC companies. Um, as you can see, uh, Air Borealis, PAL Airlines, those would get you, um, even Kuwatin Air would, would get you back uh, home Newfoundland, Labrador, that sort of thing, to start out your careers. You, you can find great jobs in one of these companies. Um, they're very good companies. Or, you know, use this to get to the airlines if, if that's what you want. I mean, these the programs that we offer are really geared towards training airline pilots for everything up, too. So, really, it, it's kind of a, you know, full, <laughs> full Monty option, I guess, where you can start do the basic training, move on with the commercial, and then get, get right on up through the careers, just, just through um, MFC, EIC, and, and the, our sister companies. Right on. So yeah, just to add there, it's, it's, it's probably one of the most unique things about, you know, about MFC training is, is this relationship we have with all these other companies or other airlines. So whether 
you know, you, whether your goal is just to get a private pilot license or a rec permit, uh, or you want to become a commercial pilot, uh, then the opportunities to be able to, uh, from a career perspective, be able to to launch that career is, is pretty unique here, having kind of an in really with all these different companies that are, you know, this, these ones that are here, the logos that you see, Perimeter, Calm Air, Bearskin. I'm sure most of you will be very familiar with Air Borealis and PAL um, flying in that area all the time. And then there's uh, Kuwaitan as well out in Winnipeg. So there's lots of options. Depends where you want to be, where you want to live. It's pretty exciting. So I think uh, the next part, there's questions. And um, well, we have some questions already. So what we'll probably do is just bring them up. I'll read it out and then we'll figure out who's going to answer it. Um, and then uh, kind of go from there. So we have the first question. All right, let's see here. Um, if I want to continue training in Moncton, would I be able to start working towards my CPL immediately? So I think the short answer to that is yes. I don't know, Carrie, do you want to take the rest yeah. of that? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, absolutely. The question or the, the answer to that question is, is by all means, um, you know, like I mentioned with, you know, you're in Goose Bay, it would be modular training, meaning self, self sorry, self pace, self study, start when you want, go at your own pace, that sort of thing that can continue in Moncton, um, you know, but you can also join one of the full time programs. So whether it's, you know, the, the one year program starts uh, three times a year, we're starting it in, it'll start on August 3rd. Uh, starts again in January, actually be January 10th, and then in early May. Um, the other two programs, the diploma and the degree, would start in September. Um, so whatever the timeline is, you you know, definitely you can start in August with ICPC, you can start modular, but absolutely. Right on. Thanks, Kerry. Yeah, no worries. Right on. All right. Let's try the next question. All right, don't mind me, a little bit of my question's covered, it's just the way my display is here, but I'll figure it out. Uh, I'm from Labrador, would I be able to get on with an airline up here once I graduate with a CPL from MFC training? I think um, short answer to that one again is yes, definitely. And if you think back to that slide a little while ago, when we were talking about all the different the, uh, family or group of companies that, are, are, that we're part of, there's two there that I'm sure people in Labrador or Goose Bay in particular would be very familiar with PAL and their Borealis. So yes, the short answer to that is that, yeah. Right. Yeah, and just, just to add to that as well, like uh, as I mentioned before, we're working through um, with Air Borealis because we're using their hangar in their space. So you're essentially with, uh, you know, the pilots, the operations manager, the dispatchers there. So it's a really great way for our students and our, and our instructors to work together and also make really good connections as well throughout that, so. Yeah. All right, there's the next question. What's the difference between a private pilot license and a recreational pilot permit? So- Very good question, Bob. I'll let you take your carry then. Sounds like sure. you're ready. <laughs> I've been answering this one for years. Um, private license is, is a license it's it's the starting point uh it leads to everything else it's you know it's like getting your driver's license to drive a car and then if you want to drive a transport truck or a taxi or a bus or something like that you need a special rating on the license uh the recreational you can see there that it says that it's a permit so as such it's they're very similar in one sense um but but there's a f there's only a few less hours in the recreational permit but because it's a permit, not a license, you can never add anything to it without going to a private first. So you couldn't add like a night rating or an instrument rating to fly through clouds or an instructor rating to, to work, to teach or anything like that. You, you'd have to first have the private. So it, there's also a couple more restrictions on the recreational. Um, you can never have more than one passenger, no matter, no matter how many seats the plane holds. And you couldn't cross the international border um, with a plane either. So it, it would be like only, only in Canada flights, only daytime, um, only visual with the ground, that sort of thing. So usually for the difference, everyone will just upgrade to the private right off the bat where it's only a few more hours. And then they've got a full license 
and they can work into anything else they want to add to it. Great. Thanks, Kerry. Yeah, no worries. All right. Okay, here's the next one. I saw a quote on your Facebook about training in Goose Bay being flexible. If I work full time, would I be able to do flight training? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, we're very flexible and uh, we, our instructors were basically available any weekday, weeknight uh, and weekends. We actually have quite a few students which, uh, who are rotational workers in Labrador. So they're two weeks out and then two ba weeks back in, in in Goose Bay. So the two weeks out, obviously, uh, that's perfectly fine. Once they come back in, they've been flight training with us. Um, so absolutely we're flexible. Uh, we want to make sure we're available to to all the students uh, on their schedule and do the best we can to help them uh, get their goals for flight training. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, I'm not sure um, if we have any other questions that are up. I'm not seeing them if we are. But one of the things that I will mention while, we, while I'm waiting to see if we have any questions for me, uh, any more questions, um, down in the bottom of this slide, you'll see uh, an email address, admissions at mfctraining.com. So if there's any questions that aren't per pertinent to Goose Bay, we'll probably deal with it there. So just shoot your questions probably to that email address and we'll definitely make sure we give you answers. And there's a phone number as well, 1-800-760-4632. It's a 1-800 number. You can call and, and probably talk to Carrie or Lydia, and uh, they'd be happy to, to chat with you and, and answer any questions that, that you have. So, all right. There is one question there about, uh, 38 years old with a PPL. If I complete my training in Moncton, would I be able to get a job? Um, the short answer is yes. Uh, there's lots of people that come into aviation at different stages of their lives. Um, biggest thing would be work permits, things like that. Um, and uh, and depending on, on, on the course you take, you know, your eligibility for, for work permits and things like that. But that's that's something that Carrie would definitely be able to handle there, probably through the admissions email. So, yeah, and yes, you can work. Uh, depends on how long you're here, uh, what you're eligible for um, work permits, but uh, usually it's based on how long you were training. But there, there usually is um, eligibility for that. So, all right. Aiden, I don't know if I've missed any other questions. If I have, just let me know. If not, yeah, that's okay. it. Perfect. So I guess the big thing is reiterate is how pleased we are. You took the time to join us. And, uh, and uh, if you have more questions that you think of later, do not hesitate to, to shoot us an email and uh, we will get back to you with an answer and, and work with you to, so you can achieve your dreams and uh, start flying. Thank you.